the Mecca in so many different ways of, of cyber and technology and, and with a big old helping of manufacturing. Karen, from what Ke- uh, Kevin just shared there, what thought comes to mind? Well, like I just said, it was a great uh, facts that he had brought forth and the numbers are mind boggling. Um, but yes, we are definitely the cyber hub um, here, which is why we're going to be um, instrumental and in helping to train up um, a lot of the state employees in cyber and the incumbents. Uh, so well said. And, you know, it's, it's only going to get the cyber threat, as you all know, speaking to the ex- experts here, all three of y'all, it's only going to get more complex and more, uh, um, a lot more attacks. I mean, every business, regardless if you're in supply chain or, or else, uh, is going to be a uh, big uh, concern, big priority to tackle. Um, Bruce, what about you? Kevin just shared a ton of, of market data. Your thought? Yeah, so I think uh, Kevin's obviously got the numbers and he understands the uh, what we call the cybersecurity ecosystem in Maryland. Um, one of the things that uh, strikes me and uh, some of my colleagues uh, as not obvious is that when you look at these um, opportunities and these people that are working not only in uh, the supply side but in IT, in, in Maryland there's over 800,000 IT employees. Um, people lose sight of the fact that you have that cybersecurity is an esoteric subset of IT. You need to be an expert in IT before you can really attack a cyber issue. It's like being a doctor. You have to be a doctor before you can be a cardiologist. So it's especially within. And that's one of the reasons that uh, there is so much need for cybersecurity training. You need to understand, you know, there's so many different IT systems out there and there's so many, there's so much doing in new technologies and new ways of approaching.